do you need to apply lime to your lawn every year? Well, stick around and uh, we'll see if I need to buy lime and apply lime to my lawn. I haven't put lime down in my lawn because beginning of the season, sort of early spring, I actually did a pH test. I also did some um, just soil testing in general, see what um, my soil levels were at and I've been trying to work with that. A lot of people, um, if they throw it down every year, there might be too much lime going down, increasing the pH too much. So I want to make sure that I'm not um, putting too much product down in my yard for a start and make sure that what I'm giving my yard is something that it actually needs. This is where a very simple test comes in handy. You can go when you're going to pick up your lime, and instead of picking up your lime, you can spend $10, $15 and get a pH test, or you get little readers, or you can get a whole kit that does test other um, key components for your lawn. So let's break it down, see what um, tester I'm going to be using, and see what my results are going to be like. So for the test, I'm going to be using this uh, rapid test um, soil test kit. It, you can do it for your fruit and vegetable gardens, your lawn, plants, flowers, wherever. Make sure you get the right pH. And you This test isn't just designed for um, pH, but it comes with um, another three test kits, but we're just gonna focus on the pH today. So let's um, get on with it and see how to prepare for it and how to carry out the test and see if I need to go and buy some lime. So to begin with, I have got a trusty little trowel and a clean Tupperware. I'm just gonna go around my yard and get a little bit of dirt from each area, I'll probably go four or five. I've got a really shady area over here and then on this side over here I actually get a lot of sun so and I'm somewhere in the middle kind of crowded out by the trees so we're gonna just make go around and um, get a few samples mix them all together. Now if you had a corer this would be the uh, easiest way to get this sample but I do not have one um, something maybe I should invest in but I'm just gonna dig down a little bit and try and get some soil from down here, like so, just a little bit, try and not get too many roots, like that. Let's go do that another three or four times throughout the yard, try and get a good mixture together. You can do it separately, um, so you can try and target, so you know, saying that one part of your yard might need more than the other. It's not a huge um, area here, so I think I'm fine to uh, mix all together. So this rapid test kit comes with everything you need. Comes with a set of instructions there. Comes with a little four of these little things. This is just for the pH one there. And it comes with a little pipette. And then these little capsules, which um, includes the active ingredients so you can check things. Um, something else that you do need um, is a recommended, um, but not necessary, is some distilled water. So I have some distilled water. Um, I also just have an old cap and um, that's just so I can pour the distilled water into here and then I can put my um, pipette into there instead of into the jug. Um, we have our soil. So the first thing you're going to want to do is fill uh, the soil level up to this mark here. It is marked as fill to soil level. So I did mix my soil in so I just want to get a little bit and just carefully pour that in like so making sure to avoid any roots so yep, we're about level there next you're going to want to open your capsule and carefully pour it in Just going to add the water here, made sure my lid is clean. So add the water like that. Now there is a fill level on for the water too, so we just keep going like this. Well, if you do have a better dropper, this might work because this one's not very good. So we're almost at the level, right about there. And now all you need to do is just fill up the other side. It does say to use a dropper, but I'm going to very carefully pour it in like this. This side doesn't matter too much, it's just to see what the pH is. And then you want to get your lid. Put it on. 
tight or else it'll go everywhere and then give it a good shake. Giving the solution a good mix and I'm just going to let it sit and settle for a couple of minutes and then we'll be able to compare and see what um, pH level I'm at. So I've let it settle and it says to check in um, daylight but not direct sunlight so let's try and see if we can get a good viewing on this. Now on the camera I'm getting I'd say that's somewhere between six and six and a half. So there we have it. I've got 6.5 on the pH. That's exactly the same as when I tested earlier. So I'm right in the middle there. And top SQ looks at six and seven. I've got this soil test kit here. So I'm just going to check the pH every season or so just to make sure that I'm still in the ballpark of where I need to be. Because if it does start dropping, it's not going to completely fall off. I might want to bring it up. If I do want to bring it up 0 0.5 pH or 1 pH even, there's actually a handy little um, kind of table on the instructions for the rapid test. So if I wanted to apply some lime um, to increase it by 0 0.5 pH, you know, maybe get closer to 7, which isn't totally necessary. So for my soil type, it's very loamy actually, so um, I would need to apply 5 pounds per 100 square feet. My example here with the loamy soil, that's five five pounds per hundred square feet. So that's fifty pounds per thousand square feet. But I'm going to need four hundred pounds of lime to apply and get my soil pH up by um, half a point, which is not totally necessary because I'm right on the ballpark there now. So hopefully you found this video useful. Um, if you did, please do um, give it a like and drop a comment down below. Um, if you do have any questions on the soil test kit that I just used there, that's a great little thing that I bought and it was under, I think it was $15 at the time. Maybe it's a little bit more right now. I'll drop a link to that in the description below so you can check it out if you're interested in getting one. And just keep an eye on your pH. So I'm saving myself some money here by not having to buy lime, I don't need to buy lime, I've done the test. Now people do say that that rapid test is maybe not the most accurate, but I think it's close enough to where you need to be. If you're not a hardcore um, lawn enthusiast, you don't need to pay a little bit more for um, the all-inclusive test, this little test system here. It does enough for what you need if you're just an average homeowner like me who's, you know, wants a nice green lawn, wants a healthy lawn, but doesn't need to go and um, be too over the top and excessive on it. Nothing wrong with doing that, but for me, I quite like doing little things like this. Keep your hands on and you can understand where things are coming from and why things are happening. So with that all being said, if you do like my content, please do consider subscribing to the channel and checking out one of my other videos. I've got another couple of videos coming out soon, um, all related to the lawn and outdoor work. So if you want to check one of them out, that'd be great. And until next time, thank you for watching.